Welcome to the next video in the series on my print NC CNC build. There's quite a few of you who have joined to follow along on the journey, so welcome, welcome. In the last video, we talked about steel for your CNC, uh, where to buy it, what type, etc., etc. And in this video, we're going to talk about the two most important 3D printed parts you have to print before you start your build. So here we go. This part you saw in the last video, this is the steel radius tool. And as you can imagine, you put it on the edge of your tubing, find out the radius. So in my case, it was six millimeters was the radius. You take that along with other dimensions of your steel, your steel long, which is this way, steel short, this way, your steel thickness, mine was three millimeters, and then of course, the steel radius. You take all those parameters in to Th Fusion 360 and you print this. Actually, let me back up a little bit. You go into Fusion 360, put those parameters in, and then you can export your file to uh, your slicer program. And I'll probably show that on screen here. And you export to your 3D printer. In my case, it's the Creality Ender. And this part, you can see there's a little bed adhesion issue, but that really doesn't affect the performance of this part. So as I said, print this part, find the radius on your steel, measure with a caliper, your other dimensions, and you end up printing this part. Now for me, it's pretty snug. So what you're doing here is you're making sure it fits there. And that's a, that's a good snug fit. It's not super snug, but it's the radius is correct and it fits on there just fine. So that looks good to me. And then you also have this portion here that should be about the same thickness as your steel. And what you're gonna do is place it on. You may have to tap it on with a, with a mallet, but as long as it fits without too much effort, should be fine. To me, this looks good. I don't have any problems with that. There's not really a whole lot of uh, gaps. And so if there were, you'd go back into Fusion 360, enter some different parameters, maybe a little larger, a little smaller, and print it again. This part took about an hour and 40 minutes. And so now the next step after these is to actually print the assembly parts. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.